Let's try that again. Oh, that irritated me. <laughs> That's not what I need right now. So. I've got a little bit of anger now. <laughs> I'm working on accepting this. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to work on accepting it because I don't want to accept it. <laughs> which has been part of my problem in the past, which means that that's what I need to work on. Because no matter how much my mind is trying to get around it, That's what's happening. And as much as I've hoped over the past three years that it would change, it's not going to. It was my choice to spend that time with him. Oh God, I need the freaking air conditioner on now. me. I don't know if you can. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. <sighs> so I have to accept this and this is the last thing I want to do because I want to keep that hope alive because I'm you know, before, before now, before this week, it's been a week. It's been a week since I've seen him. And it's been a week more or less. Well, it'll be a week at like one or two today. <laughs> and for the most part, he wanted to make sure that I got home safely, so I texted him after that. And we had a brief little exchange that was sweet. And then this week, Friday night, Friday night. You know, it's so funny. The passage of time is so funny. Like, Friday night, Friday was five days, right? And it seemed like two years. And today, it seems like it was yesterday that we well, maybe not yesterday, like two days ago. Which is better. <laughs> That's better. Oh, it hurts though. Like, it really hurts. <laughs> um, I'm still, you know what? I'm still holding on to that. That guy in the last... Yeah, it really irritated me. <laughs> but, um... So... The thing is then, right? I have to work on how to accept things. I have to work on letting things go. Right? That's the whole point of this. And we were talking about that this week 
out the way to do that, which is when the feelings come and you're listening to your thoughts. Um, to recognize that, relax the tension in your body and to observe it. Just observe it. And not get involved with it. And that's easier to do when your emotions aren't that strong. But, so this, this week, this past week, it's been, oh wow, this hurts guys. <laughs> this past week, it's been easier, I think, because I haven't been close to accepting it. I've been in denial. And I'm still there, let's be honest. It's not like I'm accepting it full out, but I'm coming close to it. He's lonely and he's gonna start looking for someone else soon, I'm sure. And I don't wanna be holding on to this if that's the case. I don't wanna be holding on to this and him being okay with moving on. So I have to move on. Oh man, guys, I don't want to do this. Like, come on. <sighs> wow, this sucks. Like, this sucks. And I'm trying to think about it uh, the way I would think about it you know, in, in a month or two. I'm very grateful for our relationship. I'm very grateful for our relationship. Okay. I just... Like, even in this moment, even in the last part, even in breaking up, this relationship is giving me something that I really needed throughout the relationship. He was, like, my unfailing support. He was my cheerleader, like, through depression. I mean, I was depressed, you know? I mean, like, our relationship started when I was depressed. Why can't it... Why can't it... Why couldn't it have reached the point... I mean, it did. Okay, so last last summer I started not being as depressed. But why couldn't we be together when things got better? You know, why couldn't we be together as, our, as we were getting our lives together? And maybe that's what the relationship was for. To get me from a place of self-hatred and not being able to believe in myself and it helped me realize that I'm worth loving and that not only that I'm worth loving but I'm worth loving by a really great guy he did things like oh he's such a sweet sweet kind person he took care of me in a way that no one has ever taken care of me. He loved me unconditionally in a way that no one ever has. He wanted to know everything that was going on with me. I, you know, when you're, de when I'm depressed, right? When I was depressed, like I do some of these weird things. And one of the things that happens that, I mean, we all have memories we don't like, right? But when you're, when I'm depressed, and this is a common thing, you hang on to the, these memories. You hold on to them and you go back to them, like, on a daily basis. And they're terrible memories. They're the ones that make you feel the worst you've ever felt. And they keep coming back. And they come back whenever your mind wanders. And they're so painful that... I would like gasp or 
kind of like kind of twitch trying to shake it off or like say out loud I'm okay or it's okay or I don't care and just out of nowhere and he was not only like fine with that he'd be like what's going on what's what's in your mind what, what just happened in your mind all he wanted to do was help all he wanted to do is help and I'm losing that I'm losing something I want to keep so much being true. I don't, I, I don't have anything new to say. I had something to talk about earlier, but I got thrown off. I allowed myself to get thrown off by that guy who kept commenting. Um, So I had that conversation with my friend Brooke last night, and that's on Facebook Live. If you want to see it, it's at the end of my last, my really long video last night. And, you know, she, she likened, she likened being in love and, and going through a breakup like a heroin She is a psychiatric nurse <laughs> so she's seen that several times and a friend of mine who has actually gone through detox said that breaking up is worse <laughs> because the the withdrawal from drugs is like a physical thing and this is, I mean, whatever it is, I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna minimize, absolutely not gonna minimize drug addiction. It's not like I think it's actually worse than drug addiction, but my friend was saying like, it's like, like going, going back and seeing him was like a hit and it felt great because it relieved that pain and I got that fix of that love. I got that fix of him that I wanted so much. And when we're together, it felt so much better to be together. I just feel like we have so much left to learn from each other. And he's the first one that I really felt like I could build a future with. That's not the point of these videos though. The point of these videos is to tell you what I'm going through and how I'm coping with it. And right now, I'm sad. I'm hurt. These feelings aren't located in my body right now, which is almost easier to deal with because then I would just be relaxing my body and breathing deeply. But right now, I just gotta observe the feeling because it's, it's, it's not easily observable, right? And I think I'm gonna start crying more than I, then I've been crying because I'm 
because I'm accepting it and I'm I'm I think what's gonna have to happen is that I'm just gonna have to do a lot of crying which I guess somehow I was gonna I felt like I was gonna be able to avoid so I'm gonna go cry and the only thing I'm thinking is I don't want this and I just want it I mean, you know what I'm thinking, right? You've all been through bro breakups. So I'm going to go cry. And I just want to let you know that because that's the latest development. That's how I'm going to cope right now is I'm just going to cry in bed. We'll see how long that lasts.